This is an old switchback and has been uh, reinforced by the Colorado 14ers initiative to accomplish the conservation of ancient soils. And as we look right here at this, what's called a soil profile, you can see a clear change between this, this really thick, dark, organic, rich layer, which we oftentimes call topsoil. And as we get down, we get this less rich layer, which has some organics in it, but more mineral soil. And so there's a transition from really rich areas to poorer areas until we reach bedrock. And a lot of the research that has been done has shown that these soils up in the Alpine at this elevation, 12,000 feet, 13,000 feet, 14,000 feet, can take a thousand years to develop one inch of soil. And so what we're looking at right here in this profile is if we take my boot, which is about 12 inches long, more or less, and, um, and so we've got 12, upwards of 12,000 years of development of soil. And it's this soil that's required to maintain these lush alpine plant communities. What the Colorado 14ers initiative has noticed on a lot of peaks where there are not sustainable trails is you can lose a foot of soil in one year. Once you lose the plant community, we can take a look at the roots here. These roots are the only thing holding these ancient soils together. Once we lose those plant communities, those roots are gone, the soils fall apart. And so the strategy they're using here along the switchback is to use these rocks as rubble to reinforce the banks of this cut where we had to get the switchback in. This is an old, a pretty old trail here. And so these rocks are literally holding together thousands of years of soil and allowing the rest of these plants to persist.